Sri Dalada Malagawa or the Temple of the Sacred Tooth Relic is a Buddhist temple in the city of Kandy, Sri Lanka. It is located in the Royal Palace Complex of the former Kingdom of Kandy, which houses the relic of the Tooth of the Buddha. Since ancient times, the relic has played an important role in local politics because it is believed that whoever holds the relic holds the governance of the country. Kandy was the last capital of the Sri Lankan kings and is a World Heritage Site mainly due to the temple. Bhikkhus of the two chapters of Malwat and Asgariya conduct daily worship in the inner chamber of the temple. Rituals are performed three times daily, at dawn, at noon and in the evenings. On Wednesdays there is a symbolic bathing of the relic with an herbal preparation made from scented water and fragrant flowers called Nanamora Mangalaya. This holy water is believed to contain healing powers and is distributed among those present. The temple sustained damage from bombings by Janatha Vimukthi Paramuna in 1989 and by Liberation Tigers of Tamil Elam in 1998 but was fully restored each time. History After the Parinirvana of Gautama Buddha, the tooth relic was preserved in Kalinga and smuggled to the island by Princess Hemamali and her husband, Prince Dantha on the instructions of her father King Guhasiva. They landed in the island in Lankapatana during the reign of Siramagavana of Anuradhapura and handed over the tooth relic. The king enshrined at Megajiri Vihara present-day Isaramunia in Anuradhapura. Safeguard of the relic was a responsibility of the monarch, therefore over the years the custodianship of relic became to symbolize the right to rule. Therefore, reigning monarchs built the tooth relic temples quite close to their royal residences, as was the case during the times of the Anuradhapura Kingdom, Kingdom of Palanarua, and Kingdom of Dambadenia. During the era of the Kingdom of Gampula, the relic was housed in Niamgampaya Vihara. It is reported in the messenger poems such as Hamsa, Jira, and Salalahini that the Temple of Tooth Relic was situated within the city of Sri Jayawadinpura Kote when the Kingdom of Kote was established there. During the reign of Dharmapala of Kote, the relic was kept hidden in Delgamuwa Vihara, Ratnapura, in a grinding stone. It was brought to Kandy by Hiripitiya Diawadana Rala and Devanagala Rathnalankara Thera. King Vimaladharmasuriya I built a two-story building to deposit the tooth relic and the building is now gone. In 1603 when the Portuguese invaded Kandy, it was carried to Meta Mahanuwara in Dumbara. It was recovered in the time of Rajasinha II and it has been reported that he reinstate the original building or has built a new temple. The present-day Temple of the Tooth was built by Veera Narendra Sinha. The octagonal Pitharipua and moat was added during the reign of Sri Vikrama Rajasinha. The royal architect Devendra Mulacharya is credited with building the Pitharipua. Originally it was used by the king for recreational activities and later it was offered to the tooth relic. It now houses the temple's library. The temple has been attacked on two occasions, in 1989 by the Janatha Vimukthi Paramuna and then in 1998 by the militant organization Liberation Tigers of Tamil Elam. Architecture The brick wall which runs along the moat and Bogambara Lake is known as Water Waves Wall. Holes in this wall are built to light coconut oil lamps. The main entrance gate which lies over the moat is called Mahawahakata. At the foot of Mahawahakata steps there is a Sandakata Pahana moonstone which is carved in Kandyan architectural style. Mahawahakata was totally destroyed in a 1998 bomb blast and rebuilt afterwards along with Sandakata Pahana other stone carvings. Elephants are depicted in stone on the either sides of the entrance. A Makara Torana and two guardian stones are placed on top of the staircase. Huishi Drummer's Chamber is situated in front of the main shrine. The two stories of the main shrine are known as Pal Malaya lower floor, and Udu Malaya Upper floor or WEDA Hatina Malagawa. The doors of the WEDA Hatana Malagawa are carved in ivory. The actual chamber which the tooth relic is kept is known as the Handan Kunama. The golden canopy over the main shrine, built in 1987 by Prime Minister Rinasinghe Primadasa, and the golden fence which encircles the main shrine are other notable features. The tooth relic is encased in seven golden caskets which engraved with precious gemstones. The caskets have a shape of a stupa. 
The procession casket which is used during the Kandi Asala Parahara is also displayed in the same chamber. Associated buildings and structures Royal Palace The Royal Palace is situated to the north of the temple. John Pybus, who was on an embassy in 1762, gives a detailed description on the Royal Palace. Vikramabahu III of Gampala and Sena Samatha Vikramabahu of Kandy built royal palaces on this site. The Maladharmasurya I of Kandy undertook various decorations to the palace. The Dutch orientalist Philippus Baldeus visited the palace with General Gerard Peters Hulft in 1656. The royal residence was known as Maha Wasala in Sinhalese starting in the Palanarua period. The royal palace is also known as Malagawa. There were three Wahakadas and a 8 feet meters high wall used as main entrances. The section of the palace facing the Natha de Vale is said to be the oldest. During the beginning of the British period, it was used by government agent Sir John Doyley, 1st Baronet, of Kandy. Successors of Doyley have continued to use it as their official residence. Today it is preserved as an archaeological museum. Yulpen J and Queen's Palace are the associated buildings of the palace. Audience Hall The audience hall or Magal Maduwa is where the Kandyan kings held their court. It was completed during the reign of Sri Vikrama Rajasinha. The carvings of the wooden pillars which support the wooden roof are an example of wood carving of the Kandyan period. Sri Rajadi Rajasinha of Kandy built it in 1783. The hall was renovated for the reception of arrival of Albert Edward, Prince of Wales in 1872. Originally the hall was 58 by 35.6 feet 17.7 meters times 10.9 meters, after renovation, its length was extended by an additional 31.6 feet 9.6 meters. Other nearby building to the halls believed to be demolished during the British rule. The audience hall was the venue where the Candian Convention was drawn up, it was where the convention was read out to the people and where the conference, about the convention was held on 2 March 1815. That space was later used to erect the Kandy Kachchari and Kandy Supreme Court. Today it is used for state ceremonies and conserved under the Department of Archaeology. Mahamaluwa Mahamaluwa is public who came to see the annual Asala Parahara. Today it contains a statue of Maduma Bandera. The memorial of which contains the skull of Kepetapola Disawe is another attraction. The statue of Princess Himamali and Prince Dantha are also located here. See also Diawadana Nilama Chief Lay Custodian. Asala Parahara Notes <laughs>